All right, good morning, YouTube viewers. This is Steve with AZ Blade Broker. Um, and haven't done a video in a long time, but I am doing one that has been often requested. We stock lots of knife blanks on our eBay store, and I'm constantly having requests for basic overviews of what they are and a little more in-depth in um, uh, description. So um, I'm also going to delve into one particular knife brand that I decided not to carry. I looked at becoming a viewer for Condor, you can see on the far left, and I'm not trying to knock it and say what well, I stock is better than Condor, but um, I'm really thoroughly disappointed with the Condor. I'll start there and I'll explain why. The Condor knife blanks, um, the biggest problem I have with it is it's a long ways from being flat. I don't know if you can see it, but in every direction, uh, you know, they are not square to the world, especially this way. Hopefully you can see how far off of flat these blades are. They are really rounded off heavily here where they've buffed them out or sanded them or whatever. And so it's really going to be difficult to get a flush fit scale on there. Um, you know, you'd have to shave these things. So you'd have to grind these way down to make them flat. And that's just not something I'm interested in selling or even doing. In fact, I don't know that I'm even going to put scales on this knife. I might do it as a demonstration video, but anyway. So that's the Condor, and that's why I've chosen not to be a Condor dealer, even though I've had lots of people ask me if I could be. Um, overall, my favorite knife brand uh, for knife blanks is Heli. They come in two basic, well, there's really three different steels, but there's two basic types. The vast majority of the Helis are a laminated steel, and they are a stainless steel over a high carbon steel center. You know, what some people would call San Mai, they just call it triple laminated steel. So, <clears throat> this is a model 300, and there's another variant that's kind of hard to get. It's called the 301, where it's laminated carbon steel over carbon steel. Um, you know, some of the guys, what, the biggest thing with that is, is it throws better sparks if you're making a survival knife for it, and you're using a ferrochromium rod on it. It's going to spark better. Uh, the downside, of course, is it's not going to be uh, rust-proof. So, you know, that's that. So this is a three-quarter, what I call a three-quarter tang. It's full-length tang, but then, of course, your grip is down here. I personally like this design. A little harder to do because it can be tricky to groove your block and get your pinholes to all line up. But once you've done it, it's an incredibly strong design, especially if you're using some type of synthetic like uh, G10 or Micarta. You know, there's only one way for a handle to come off, and that's for it to shear the pins completely off, or the pins to come out. Uh, there's just nowhere for it to go. Even, you know, realistically, even if you were just to put a handle on and put one pin on, it would still be stronger than, than a stick tang or a full tang pinned together. So this is the 300 Temagami, also known as the Les Stroud, and it measures... One point one five or point one one five. Okay. Next one over is basically the only full tang knife blank that they offer at this time, and it's the Utvar. The Utvar is Sandvik stainless. Um, like this, but as you some of you have seen in some of my other videos, I'm not real happy with this part of the Utvar. So what I do when I make these is I open this up about an eighth of an inch there and maybe a little more than an eighth of an inch to the back and then rather than put the short scales on it like they do with the factory I take my scales all the way to the end and that just makes it feel like a much bigger grip. Um, so again about the same thing 0.115 in thickness. I think all the Helis are basically going to be the same. Uh, this is a very typical 
knife blank. This is what most of the heli knives are. I stock about 20 of them on my eBay store. And um, this is the number 36 GT. It's a little bigger than most of them. This is one of the larger stick tangs, unless you get into like the Laplander. Laplander. Uh, it is also a laminated steel. They do make some stick tangs that are not laminated, that are in the um, Sandvik. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, that one's actually a little thicker. That's weird. Not by much. That's that's 125. That's a full eighth of an inch thick. Okay. All right. Well, that's you know basically all of the the heli knives are going to be like these, only various sizes, a little bit different blade configurations. All right. So this is a knife brand called Lori, and it's a Finnish knife company. And the vast majority, you know, besides maybe Martini, but a lot of the other custom knife makers you see out of Finland, use Lori knife blanks. Um, and they basically come in <clears throat> three different styles. I don't have any of the stainless stuff in stock right now. I'm out. I have some stuff on the way. The vast majority of them are just plain carbon steel, which is what most of these are. And then they do make a... Um, Progressive temper, what they call their PT line. I don't know if you can see the the uh, Hammond line or the temper line in that. Flash it back and forth a little bit. And I normally stock these in the um, 78 millimeter, which is what this is, and a 95 millimeter, which is that size. Oh, and the 90 millimeter Puku, which is that size. Or Puku, I'm sorry, 90 millimeter uh, Leekyu. These would be Pukus, this would be the Leak style. Okay, um, one of the things that's cool about Lori is they're one of the few knife brands that give you some uh, dedicated tools. Um, they make a pretty decent farrier's knife blank. As far as I know, I'm about the only person in the United States that stocks these. And so it's a nice carbon steel farrier's knife. Designed to go both directions. Sell quite a few of these. These are cool. This is what they call an opener. Um, in Finland, an opener is what we would call a, a, a skinny or a, uh, a gut hook. So this would be the same thing or the same purpose. They would carry this in combination with a larger knife. And it would be like the knives that you have with a gut hook on the back of the blade. So it's dull on the top. Um, many people buy these and clean them off a little bit. Or clean off the... Um, all part and just make a real sharp point hook knife or even a karambit style. So most of these are the same thickness. They're going to be right around an eighth of an inch thick. A little larger actually. 0 0.129, 0 0.1, call it one uh, one, 130 maybe? Yeah. So this would be a 105 millimeter Puku knife. Yeah, 130. This again is the uh, PT 78 millimeter progressive temper. Yeah, these are all measuring about 130. The larger ones we have the Leekus, or this is 175 millimeter Leeku. I think we stock up to the 210 millimeter Leeku. Yeah, measuring 130. Uh, these little tiny jobbers here. This is a 60 millimeter Carver. Those are going to be thin. Those are. Uh, 08. Okay. And then they do have what they call the HD series, which is a little bit thicker yet. And I have these in a couple of lengths 95 and 105. And I might carry a 78 in this, I'm not sure. And they're going to measure uh, 167. Almost 0.170. 168 maybe. Okay, so that's a basic overlook on some of the knife blanks we stock. Check us out at surplus-steve11 on eBay. And there'll be a link below to my eBay store. Thanks.